hello again. Uh, my name is Mohit Bazumdar and I'm one of the global representatives of Pine Biotech. And in my current role, I'm collaborating and working with academia and industry to provide support for bioinformatics research and education. So along with our hardworking uh, uh, and efficient team, we have been able to work with more than 30 universities for the past couple of uh, years for research-based programs and helping thousands of students to develop understanding of data-driven research and life sciences. So uh, in this program, what we'll be doing is that we will be utilizing some of the uh, mm, top uh, rated online tutorials using the learn portal uh, this has the smart tracking uh, as as well as curated data sets designed for great learning experience so after that uh, to tell you uh, about the program so in this program we will combine online sessions self-guided study material and practical assignment for an immersive experience that has proven to be very effective in our well-known and respected omics logic programs. So we will learn about important co concepts within biomedical research, such as uh, infectious diseases, uh, cancer research, and learn about immunology of infection, molecular disease markers uh, and stages, and how these diseases can be diagnosed and treated. So uh, we will be talking about several bio uh, bioinformatics methods, uh, such as processing uh, of RNA-seq data and like uh, learning about differential gene expression and more. And finally, we will look at the sample projects and learn how to create our own project projects with the bioinformatics method using the public uh, repositories. So by learning about these major concepts, uh, you will be able to equip to start your own project. So about the uh, schedule, so the upcoming program, like uh, we already have seen the schedule and we'll go back to the page where you can download this entire schedule and more descriptive one. But uh, for this uh, presentation, I'll just take you through the sessions really quickly so that you will understand how this is, uh, um, I mean, how this is going to be. So the upcoming program will focus on uh, NGS transcriptomic data analysis that include uh, performing downstream analysis and applying data science techniques and machine learning methods. So we will have almost, um, uh, I guess, four weeks to discuss the various aspects of RNA-seq data analysis and how this field of bioinformatics is uh, is amazed, uh, is continue, it's continued to evolve and amaze us all. So to start with, uh, the first session will be about, uh, you know, uh, learning about mRNA library preparation, mapping mapping on the transcriptome using uh, algorithms such as Top Hat, HiSet, Bowtie Two G, uh, Sailfish. So we will be discussing and telling you that what this algorithm does, and we will show you how to run this algorithm. So what to expect from that analysis. So that's why I think T by Info platform plays a very important role, which was discussed earlier. So the first session will be on nineteenth May, and we'll be looking forward all of you to join the session and learn from us and learn from the resources and come up with a project and do your internship, all of that. So the second session will be about uh, processing transcriptomics data, which will be on 21st, uh, 21st May. So we, here we will be discussing strategies of uh, mapping exon and junction detection, and then techniques such as uh, normalization and quantification. And this is all covered in transcriptomics one. So the transcriptomics courses will be uh, will be available for those who are joining and uh, along with the projects, but uh, this course will give you a great overview of uh, how this entire uh, uh, NGS analysis is, uh, you can start and uh, you know uh, expect results. So uh, after that, on 24th May, we have the session on um, project and also it, it is more about you know reviewing so uh, uh, so we will be reviewing a publication. So as we said and discussed, and Dr. Harpreet also showed you that, uh, that uh, this is a more of a research-based program. So this in this session, we will be learning about modeling precision medicine. So here the example is breast cancer cell lines and the application of machine learning. So this is a paper uh, by Demian et al, modeling precision medicine for breast cancer. So this uh, paper talks about 70 different uh, breast cancer cell lines and 90 different therapeutic agents, uh, so drugs. So this uh, project also include SNP data, uh, so microarray data, RNA-seq data, transcriptome, which is 
and then exome and genome wide epigenomic data as well uh, so our focus here will be to understand about you know precision medicine uh, that uh, actually revolutionize the way patients are treated uh, by using precise molecular information that provides you know reliable indicators on the effectiveness of the treatment so uh, i mean that is one of the major objective of the program so in this project we will uh, uh, when you will be first learning about the publication and how they did it and then we have a project uh, on this publication so in the project we will uh, leverage cell lines from human breast cancer uh, tumor and uh, study that how they uh, integrate with the other omics data and the response to various cancer treatments. So what is the response to the drugs? So as a result, you will learn about various omics data types and how to integrate them, associate them with pheno phenotypic changes. So the response to the treatment would be the phenotypic change here. And we will be using uh, sophisticated machine learning algorithms, obviously, because it's a uh, complicated multidimensional data. So after that, uh, on 26th, uh, we will be learning about uh, loading uh, these uh, data sets into the, into the Python and R, and then how can we use that and prepare matrix and data frames and create variables and stuff like that. So after that, we will be learning about normalization and uh, preparation, like uh, what we can do for, uh, uh, to create a pipeline and what what we expect from the results from that pipeline so uh, also like removing zero non-zero and log scale transformation after that we will be learning about how we can do this like in and see visually so doing the box plots uh, scatter plot histograms heat maps uh, after the transformation doing it on the coding side of things so after that, we will be learning about um, exploratory analysis in R and Python. So here we start about uh, PCA. Uh, so from descriptive statistics to machine learning. So here we will start about exploratory data analysis and we will be using coding as well as the TBA info platform. And then uh, the, uh, you know, one of the major um, objective of this program is to learn about uh, how the changes in expression uh, uh, you know, affects the phenotype. So differential gene expression is one of the tools that is used for this. So we'll be learning about DSEC uh, algorithm, edge R uh, and volcano plots uh, and all of that. So that would be on 4th June. And then we have about the next part as regression analysis. So we here, because we are doing comparison, we are making groups and then groups have uh, different characteristics, features. Um, so we will be learning about t-test and uh, ANOVA regression and factor regression analysis to get into deeper, uh, get in deeper insight of regression analysis. And this is also very much uh, covered in transcriptomics too. So even if you miss the session or if you want to prepare ahead of the session, so you can do that so, so that you can make most of the session. So this will be also available for the participants to do uh, the courses first and then uh, attend the sessions. So that could also be done. And then we will learn about biological interpretation and in the context of single cell. So uh, how you can do single cell analysis and how you can come up with, you know, a uh, cake pathway annotation for differentially expressed gene, uh, do uh, understand about the biological process, molecular function, and uh, all of that. So by this time you have learned about the different techniques and how you can apply this to different uh, uh, different kind of data sets and also how to understand the biological uh, um, interpretation how to interpret the biological uh, how to connect it with the biology so after that uh, the next step is to uh, you know learn about the application of this technology into different areas of research so the next session on 11 june is about that so uh, here we will be discussing about literature review, compiling a data set, developing analysis plan, and doing that entire you know, transcriptomics data analysis and how that is applicable to neuroscience, infectious disease, and oncology. So we already have these projects and we already discussed about molecular cell precision, molecular cancer, modeling cancer precision medicine, but we also discussed the TCGA project and we also have the projects on neuroscience and other projects that you can uh, learn from. So during this time, uh, we will be covering all of that. And uh, as Ilya said, we will be utilizing these platforms and resources. So quickly, just to tell you that 
this entire omics logic programs will be utilizing the learn platform where you have created a login so i think uh, if you have not please uh, please create a login here it's a free login so i mean you don't have to join the program to create a login but you can again if you're not joining but still you can avail a lot of resources and learn from the resources and maybe once you're more comfortable you can think about uh, what training you would need but if you are uh, interested and interested in learning this so i would recommend you to join this program now it's a great opportunity uh, to uh, join this because we have multiple collaborators and different expertise and we'll be covering a lot for the summer because summer is the time where you will have time and we will also have time so here uh, the second platform that we'll be utilizing is the tbanfo platform uh, so which you saw and the third platform would be the coding platform and then uh, we will be applying it using machine learning multivariate analysis we will be using data mining and classification algorithms such as hierarchical clustering decision trees random forest um, uh, support vector machine um, and also uh, um, svm and uh, so yeah so <laughs> support vector machine lda linear discriminant analysis so we have all of them in on the platform and then we will be practicing the data science tutorials using the code platform and we'll be applying that for visualization and downstream analysis so this will be the part of uh, this entire program all of the access will be the part of the program so you will be getting access to the uh, uh, to the different platforms as well as the tutorials from where you can learn on your own from your browser because you don't need to even install uh, these uh, these uh, uh, lab this programming tools and also like the software so out of this entire uh, entire program you will be able to learn and understand from the literature and you'll be able to understand the steps that is required that are required to do the ngs data analysis with uh, reproducibility so there will be a constant accuracy and you'll be guided by the experts who have worked throughout uh, their career and knows in and out most of the things but obviously research is challenging uh, each time you get a new question but however like we have uh, quite a bit of experience working throughout as idia said so we'll be helping you do these steps understand from these steps and try to make the most from the learning that you get so uh, in this entire process we will be learning about r and python as said statistical techniques uh, how to manage and analyze data develop communication skills about how we can present this information that we have created by by the form of a slide deck by the form of a video or by interacting with us like in 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 one of these sessions so the sessions that we will have are are with the participants and with uh, the trainer so you will have a lot of opportunities throughout that time hours of time to discuss your own problems and come up with uh, uh, solutions so we will be doing all of that um, and to registration about registration and downloading all of this at one place so let's just go again uh, to this site uh, the transcriptomic site that we all went before and then learn about the process of the registration so here i have the site open so uh, if if anyone can share the link so let me share it yeah there you go so this is the site uh, for registration if you have already logged in so your name will come up here your name will reflect so uh, once you're here you can request for more information like joining a webinar like the one you're doing and you can also start your application so once you start all your application you come to this place uh, beginners intermediate and advanced now uh, you have three uh, different uh, 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 levels to choose from so in uh, intermediate in the beginners you will get uh, all of this uh, that we discussed today the difference between intermediate uh, and beginners is that here you can request for special one on one uh, mentor support to help you with any of your questions and if you feel like that you need additional support and that would be good for you so that option is there on mentor on this intermediate option and then for the advanced option is for someone who would want to work on their own data and who would want to work on uh, using uh, the tbio info research platform so the research platform enables you to upload your own lab data 
which is not public, publicly available and you will get a research license to run the, your analysis and get support for that. So that's the research license and then you can sign in and check out. So in addition to all of this, uh, uh, till tomorrow, there's a special code that you can apply. So you can get a 30% discount on all of that, all of the above. So the registration fees will be reduced. The scholarship is 30% for all of you, which is an early bird scholarship. So you can apply that 30% scholarship and this will be for available for $105, which is around 70, uh, 700 uh, rupees in uh, Indian uh, currency. So uh, please feel free to let us know if you face any problems. So I'll just show you that how you can apply that maybe quickly. Uh, 